Okay guys, today I'm going to show you how to um, make a pretty cool theme for your Windows 7. Uh, the only thing about it is it's kind of complicated to do. It's, it's, there's a lot of steps. It's not complicated as in real techie or anything. Okay, so anyway, um, the first thing you're going to do is go and get a file called Universal Theme Patcher. It's gonna be in the down. It's gonna be in the info box link. Um, so just go to there. Click right here. Download. And just wait for that, and you should get a page like this. And it says it'll automatically start if you don't want to wait. Just click on that, and it'll download. So you open that up, and you extract it to your desktop or wherever you want and open that and if you have a 64-bit operating system do the 64 if you have a 32-bit operating system do the x86 if you are not sure what kind of operating system you have uh, click on go to start click computer right click on there click properties and let's see where is it right here system type I have a 32-bit so I'm gonna be running the x86 um, you're, oh, and by the way, the reason you have to do that is because if you don't use the right one, you get that message. Anyway, so, um, oh. anyway, what you do is go here, whenever you open it, click English, if it isn't already that way, you'll get a message like this, except you won't have three files that have been patched, you'll have zero files, I mean, you'll have three files that need to be patched. So you're going to click yes. And where mine says patch, I mean restore, 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 yours will say patch, patch, patch. So you're just going to click patch, patch, patch. And whenever you do that, you should be prompted to restart your computer. Uh, if you are not, you need to restart no matter what, because it will not work if you do not. Okay, so after you do that, and restart your computer. Uh, let's see. Oh, yes, you go to the next link that I provide. It's the Windows 7 theme. You're going to download that. And you're going to get it in your downloads. Uh, let's see if I can find it here. There it is. You open it up. Extract 2. You're going to click on your desktop. I already have it there. So I'm just going to get rid of all that. Okay. I'll just drag it out of my fence there so it's not confusing for you guys. Okay, so you got that on your desktop. Now you're going to go into your computer again. Go to your local drive, unless you renamed it. it always says local disk or local drive. I'm not sure which one. Uh, once you do that, go to Windows. Scroll down until you see Theme. No, I'm sorry, resources. <laughs> anyway, and if you click, you, okay. I'll do that again. Go to resources and go to themes. Um, you're gonna have you, okay, so once you're there, go to Windows 7 theme folder, open that up, click on theme, highlight those two, right click them, click copy, and here you're gonna click paste. Okay, so just click paste. Uh, I you won't get this message. I already have them there, so I don't need to do it again. Oops, cancel. Okay, there we go. Once you do that, um, you are going to go ahead and go to what? Well, no, right-click on your desktop and click Personalize. Go to oh, Install Themes, and you're gonna go to this Project Seven Red Extreme. Click it. Mm, wait a minute for it. I'll go ahead and do it, I guess. And you'll get this. Um, if you want to change your desktop background to something a bit cooler, go go back to that folder. Go to where is it? Wallpaper. And there's a couple different ones you can choose from. I'll go with this one. See, it's pretty cool. It's a bit cooler than the normal one that you get. <laughs> Okay, so after that, um, let's see, how much more time do I have here? Oh, I have tons of time. Yeah, 15 minutes. <laughs> okay, I'll go ahead and do another thing then. 
Um, let's see here. Um, not some of the night. Okay, we'll go with Start Ward. This one, um, you know how to use Restorator. So just double click that. It'll take a few minutes. And then click Run and all that junk. <laughs> it won't ask you for anything else. It's not going to say Next, Next, Next. It's just going to appear on your desktop. So you're just going to open that up. Okay, now what you have to do here is go to, um, well, actually, first thing you have to do is go to your task manager. There's a couple different ways to do it. The quickest way is to press control, shift, and escape all at the same time. Um, once you're there, uh, go to explore, if you can find it, explore, and click end process. Because Explorer has to be closed for this to work. So all you have now is if you have any gadgets, you have your gadgets open and you have um, Restorator open. Oh, and before you do that, also... Wait, no, never mind, you won't have to do that. <laughs> I'm not doing... I'm tired today. Okay, so the first thing that you do is go to your resource viewer. You're going to click this little thing right here. It says open a file. Click it. Um... Go to your desk. Oh no. Go to. Uh, where is it? Scroll all the way down until you see Explore. Okay, now what you're going to do before you click Open or anything is right click on it, click Properties, and go to the Security tab. Here, uh, you're going to click Advanced, click Owner, click Edit, and click on your name, click Apply. Click OK. Click OK again. Click OK again. And go back again to Advanced. And in Permissions, uh, click on your name, Users, your name slash users. Click Change Permissions. Click your name again. Click Edit. And click Allow. And that should highlight everything. Click OK. Make sure yours now says full control. Click apply. Click yes. Click OK. Click OK. Click OK. Now you're gonna click on explore. Oops. Click on explore and click open. Okay, now you have this open, so what you're gonna do is double click on bitmap over in this in the resource tree. Not in the resource viewer, but in the resource tree. You're gonna go to file browser. You will begin on your desktop, I believe. Once you're there, go to Windows 7 theme. Go there. And go to Start Org. Choose 6801. Click Copy. Over here, highlight 6801 on this side. And click... Where is it? Paste. <laughs> Now, you can use the same one for every one. Not, you don't have to do 6805 and 6809 for these, but just don't do anything over here anymore. Go to 6805, highlight it, click paste, and again on 6809, highlight it, and click... Where is it? Paste. <laughs> okay. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Okay. Now that you've done that, you're going to close that. Just exit out of it. Oh, actually, cancel that. <laughs> go here. Oh, it's not letting me. There we go. Click Save As. And scroll down. And you'll be in the Windows thing again. Make sure you click Explore and click Save. It says Explore.exe already exists. Do you want to replace it? Yes, you do. And click exit. Now click control, shift, escape. Click new task and type in explore.exe. Click OK. Wait a few minutes. Well, seconds. And it should, your desktop and all that fun stuff should come back up. 
Okay, uh, let's see. I have a little bit more time. Five more minutes. I can do one more thing. Okay, go to your Windows 7 theme folder. Uh, let's go with gadgets. Gadgets. Everybody knows what those are. <laughs> uh, it's just these things. If you, I mean, if you don't know, you shouldn't know. But if you don't, it's these items here. Um, where was the folder? There it is. So if you want any of these, you don't have to get this stuff, but if you do want it, um, you can just go through these things. Just double click on one. Like, let's see which one is it. I don't have hard drive. Okay, just do that. Click install. And there you go. Um, so just an overview. Hard drive is the one I just did. Clock, of course, is this one. CPU is this one. Wi-Fi is this one. And weather is this one. So we're going to close that one. See here, I have a little bit more time. I think I can do one more. Um, screensaver, FYI, doesn't work, unfortunately. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, tweaks, mm, there's nothing in there. So, don't worry about that. Um, the only other thing is icons. Okay, you're going to do this. Okay, you'll have two folders again. X86 is 32. X64 is um, 80 is 64. If you have whichever one, do that. I'm I'm rushing here because I don't have much time. Um, go to X86 again or whatever it is, and click install. Okay, double click it, run it, and um, you'll just have well, yeah. It says here, one yes, two no, three view the readme.txe. Well, txt, I'm sorry. Just click, just pit in one, not click. Pit in one and press enter. Okay, that's all you have to do there. Oh, wait, no, it's not. First, what you want to do is go, is click on the start menu, click here, click change user account control settings, and go all the way down. Click OK. Exit there. Right click. Click Run as Administrator. Now click. Now press one, and press Enter. Okay. Now what you need to do is um. Wait. Hold on. Okay. So yeah. Sorry about that. I had to pause it there for a second. Okay. Anyway, so remember, turn it on. Do what I just did there. Run as Administrator. Click, I mean, put in OE1, press enter, it'll take a few minutes. If you get a thing that says blah blah blah, does not exist, just click OK, it doesn't matter. It all it will also say that you need to restart your computer. You don't need to for icons, it's not that big of a deal. Um, yeah, I think that's about all for now. Um, I will see you in the next video. I will be showing you. Well, actually, I think the only thing left is, um, this thing here, these fences are pretty cool. They just organize your desktop. I mean, and everybody has a messy desktop. Who doesn't? <laughs> everybody does. So, um, yeah, I think that's about all for now. I will see you in the next video about the fences. Okay? Well, bye.